Your Kent State Golden Flashes in year two, led by freshman quarterback, running back, tight end, receiver. They're all cooking. We back. It's the sponge, and we coming. We coming. With episode three, rebuilding the flashes to glory and getting them to a natty. Couple big recruits making an early name for themselves. Wow. Let's see how this year goes with them at the helm. all have been crushing it lately and because of the support i'm giving away two copies of ea college football so after the big win over usa we are taking on ohio state the flashes don't count them out just yet as we tie this ball game up and we're going into the fourth and we got a chance here to dethrone the three seed ohio state there we go cooper silva just keeps it gets a big hole up the middle what a run. We got the squigglies. It's a little scary out here. Oh, yeah. Going across the middle under pressure. Finding Floria. 20 yards in a first. Can we get a guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. That was an inaccurate ball. No. Dude. That was not in the direction of the route. What a bummer on that last play, man. Unfortunate for sure. We got no time to pout because it's a big third down. Cooper... Gets close, fourth and third. It's go for it territory with only two minutes to go. Coach recommended punting, but I don't trust our defense. I think we gotta try to get this with our, our, our offense here. As we hand it off to Lemon, put the head down, sir. Bruh. Turn over. We lost. Ohio State downs us, as they should. But uh, man, we put our heart into it. It was a good game, closer than we thought. That's okay. Week five, taking on the Cowboys at Oklahoma State. They all stayed back in Kent, Ohio, man, and we're, we're further than I thought. You know, we're further than I thought. Down 31-3. From a recruiting side of things, we're just getting some folks on the books to come visit us. Week 6 against Akron, that's going to be a big week for us. Next step for me, honestly, is to target a couple of these guys that are really low on the percent lock um, in hopes maybe we can eventually swing them to, to Kent State. So as you can see, Kent State's just getting a whoop in here against the zips nothing we can do just feels kind of hopeless right now honestly as you get the sense you just want someone to do something for this kent state team in a positive direction and hey that'll work new set of downs what can we do with it there's our tight end lucas way to show up my friend first in goal or first in red zone silva with an abysmal 33 percent completion rate right now we've got to get this right and what a find, a Wallawoo. That's not a touchdown. I guess he came too far at the end zone. Third and one, we're gonna pitch this ball out to Lemon. And he gives a nice stiff arm to carry his way in to the end zone. Let's go. Third and 19 to go. Just taking a sack. I don't know if we're gonna get a snap off. It doesn't matter. We're down by 17. This game's over. Kent State takes the loss. Akron 42, flashes 25. We got so much work to do. For the amount of hardships we're facing this season, I mean, off to a 1-3 start. This is a great sign. Left guard, 73 overall, Kevin Peoples, a big guard out of high school. It's going to be joining us here in the next season. That's that's wonderful. Down we go, 20-31. Another week, a couple more recruits. Zach Watkins, a good safety, and Thomas Yates, left outside linebacker. We're adding to our defense that has needed some help. Moving up the ranks with Clint Andrews, I mean... We're creeping our way up there. He's not really giving in to any other school besides us right now. So I'm hopeful, and I want to hold on to hope that we could land the best running back in the nation. I mean, wouldn't that be something? Taking on Army in this one. This is like the first time on paper Kent State's had an equal opponent. Fourth quarter action. There's another big touchdown. They've been upset by how they've been playing the last couple weeks. So we want to keep going. The momentum and a big run. Lemon, he got in. That man was determined. Life gives you lemons. What do you do? You score six. Let's go. Week 10, travel into Buffalo. Let's sim this one out and see how it goes. And we take the L, 35-21. That's how it feels when you lose to Buffalo. It's really a defensive problem. I mean, offense has its struggles here and there too, but 38 points a game, like that's unacceptable. 
we've been doing that almost week in, week out. So uh, glad we're able to start addressing that in the recruiting. Despite being two and seven, Miami Red Hawks look still legit on paper. I mean, they got us beat in every category. So here we go. Hey, we get the dub. So momentum, at least on our side, that is big news, folks. Patrick Freeman was a gem receiver, and he's committed to our school. So excited to bring in a weapon on offense. Let's go. Week 13 is against the Eastern Michigan Eagles, and uh, we need a win here. Let's see what the sim says. We get the big win, 31-6. That puts us in a position going into the last week to get a win. We could crack a bowl game after all. Quick peek towards the end of the year here at our recruiting board. We got some big names. Clint Andrews being one of them. 95 speed, 97 excel. He's a 5'8 running back. Kind of reminds me of Deuce Vaughn, my K-State Wildcats. People probably sleeping on him. Uh, but he's arguably the best recruit in the whole class at 80 overall. And uh, we got him coming to visit in week 14. So that'll be a big bonus for us if we can get the dub. Not only that, we got Brian Welsh visiting. Josh Williams, Mike Frederick, and Mark Hall, some big high 60s, 70s, and even an 80 overall player coming to town. Let's go, man. Shout out to you guys at College Football Revamped, man. Team put in some work here. I'm going to go with alternate number 19, my favorite number, and also a sick bolt across the flash helmet. A lot on the line in this game. We need to rush for over 100 yards and pass for another 250 to please a lot of these recruits coming in. It's a snowy one here in Akron, Ohio. Golden flashes going up against the Ohio Bobcats. It all boils down to this, man. We're five and six. A win here gets us to six and six in bowl eligible. The boys are pumped. The fans are packing the stands. This has got to be one of the most packed games I've seen in a minute. 60, 70% capacity. Like the fans know what this game means. A bold would be a massive step in the right direction in year two. Hey, this is a nice, good start on defense. Third and 11. Makes the stop. Hunter tackles Jacoby Jones. It's fourth and eight. Good play. But here comes the man of the hour, Silva. This is his team, the quarterback for the Golden Flashes in his first year. Silva's had some ups and some downs, but uh, I think there's something we can work with here in the years to come. Uh, when life gives you lemons, though, what do people do? Usually, they don't do well, but uh, Ohio was ready that time. Second and 13. What can Silva dial up? He finds Bunton with a big 13-yard snag. Third and inches. I think this is lemon territory, so we're going to hand it off. Yep, cut back. Get a nice run there. Nine yards. Let's see if we can spread it open. Get Lucas involved here a little bit. I like to see that. 13 yards and a first down. Just into the red zone. Good stuff here. Lucas, sure-handed, makes the catch and gets down to first and goal. Let's hand it off to Lemon because that's what we like to see. Lemon for six. We're squeezing that ball and squeezing that run for a juicy lemonade six. I think someone forgot to install lights in the stadium or turn them on because uh, Silva and the guys are playing in the dark, it looks like. Um, in the snowy dark. That's insane, as we just find Lucas for a massive play. Rain or shine, sun or snow, no lights, lights on, I, I don't know, but we're making plays. First and 10, just cracking inside the red zone. Yep, we hit button. There we go, first and goal. It's literally at the fourth and one line. Like, I'd, I'd tush push this, but Lemon's also a good equivalent, right? Six, touchdown. And that touchdown right there is going to be the decisive one, I believe, with just two minutes left in the game. And uh, we should be walking out of here with a victory. Let's see what the rest of the sim has for us. They score so quick. Thank goodness we hold on. That's going to make us bowl eligible, 6-6. Six and six. Let's see where we land. Simulating into bowl season. Let's see where we land. And if we... I wonder, is there a chance we don't even get a bowl with six wins? I mean, six and six is still bowl eligible. But, uh, hey, being in the MAC kind of has me a little scared if that's not going to be enough to get us a bowl game. And we don't get a bowl game. We get left out this year. Kind of a bitter way to end the, the season, but... 
Wow, that's a bitter way to end the season. Off-season recruiting is here. We're up major on Clint Andrews. I don't feel like I need to put too many points towards him, but it's like I really want to lock him down, so I'm just going to give him another like insurance 1,000 points. I say we send it. Okay, we got our sights set on five dudes here in the off-season recruiting panel. Clint Andrews, Josh Williams, Brian Welsh, Mike Frederick, and lastly... Mark Hall, we're giving him 5,000 points. We're trying to bring 75 overall strong safety to the team. So uh, we got our eyes set on five dudes. That would really round out this class. If we can get all of them or at least four of them, we're sitting pretty. We get them all. Let's go. Go crazy, Kent State fans. We get five studs to the team. Mike Frederick, Josh Williams, Mark Hall, Brian Welsh, and Clint Andrews. Let's see what our class ended up being. Overall, the 53rd class in the nation. Hey, I can't complain. Nine two stars, eight three stars, but one four star and a five star. Really highlighting some of the work we did here. So good stuff all around. I think Brian Welsh has got the six foot frame 180 pounds 92 speed he can work on his catching a little bit but uh, i think he's got the makeup to be a pretty good receiver now that we got andrews and lemon as our one-two punch so i see potential here in mark call heading on over to left outside linebacker so baka continue to play glass is now <laughs> the best player on the team <laughs> that's too funny Andre Hunter, though, developing to a 97-speed corner. That's filthy. Okay, as you can see here, we redshirted most of our guys that we recruited in um, just because we know as a true freshman, I mean, they are just on the verge of playing, but I want to keep their eligibility because we're going to need them. We're going to need them when it gets down to crunch time the next couple of years and we're trying to make a run for the playoffs. So that sets us up for the start of year three in the next episode. If you're enjoying the series, hit the like button, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Make sure to subscribe and hit on that post notification bell if you are so inclined. But it's been real. It's been fun. I'll catch you all in the next one. King Sponge out. Yee yee. Hope. I'm on my way. I'm coming.